Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels. Blind. E Aegis Rim. Blind. Yeah, that. Good intro. <laughs> and in the last one, we spent a whole bunch of time with Keitaro Miura. Um... Uh, got, got to enjoy him having his mind uh, exploded by the fact that he is in the future. Uh, and we, you know, we got to see him uh... Yeah, I don't know how to describe what I'm about to say. We got to see him not like legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah let, let's say that. We got to see him not like legs. Um, we also saw that Chihiro damaged a pillar in the Karabe household when she was but a, but a young little girl. And then in the future, Miura saw that pillar again, and despite the fact that it was the same pillar, there was no damage. Which we then subsequently seem to have found out that he reconstructed in the future, in the year 21 something something. Don't know how that happened, but it apparently has. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. So something sure is, uh, sure has gone down there, that's for sure. But something also that sort of popped into my head. Right, between uh, this episode and the last. In that flashback where, where Kataro is talking to Tamao and then Natsuno in space, he refers to Morimura, well, I suppose at all, right? Which is a little strange. Uh, w one, that she's around, considering that it's, you know, considering what happens with Sekigahara's plot. And two, the fact that Miura just, you know, casually refers, well, uh, formally refers to her, I guess. It's, you know, considering that Presumably, if Chihiro really is Chihiro Morimura, then, you know, Tamao and Miura would already know her. There's, there's probably no need to be like, yeah, yeah, Professor Morimura. Yeah. They'd surely just say Chihiro, no? So maybe... Is Chihiro not Chihiro Morimura? I mean, that then goes back to the... Is Fuyusaka Morimura? Uh, I... I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll find out a little bit, considering that we're going to be doing uh, Iori later today. But, right now, we're going to be doing some... Gosh darn fighting. Uh, a boss? Apparently. Um, you'll face large aerial kaiju in this wave. These aerial kaiju have high HP and anti-air armaments that aren't very powerful. And anti oh, so and anti-air armaments aren't very effective against them, giving their low, given their low power. Anti-ground armaments, though powerful, won't even reach the enemies. This is where the EMP skills, such as the EMP attractor, come in handy. Allowing first generation sentinels to attack enemies with their powerful anti ground armaments. Unlock and equip the EMP skill from arms customization. Uh. Wanna do that over here? Um. No? Tonal recovery, heal team, heal team, instant cooldown. Actually, that's quite nice. I'm all, <laughs> I might want to get that. Um, I can't get anything else. 
Uh, wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, there we go. There is an EMP attractor. Um, which we definitely want. I guess that's just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess both. They all just have it. Is taking your heart out as well? Yeah, he does. Okay. They all just have it. Never mind. Okay. Uh. <laughs> right. In that case. Hang on. Maximum force. Maximum four. Oh sh. Okay. Fuck. Well, in that case. Definitely gonna want to prioritize those EMPs. Let's go. So I want Karabe. You, do you have EMP? You have an EMP. Do you have an EMP? You do, but I haven't unlocked it yet. I probably just go and. You. Do, you're also quite weak, generally, Mega Me, aren't you? Oh, well, I, actually. Not really. No, oh, you're one of our stronger characters. You just feel really weak, I guess. Maybe because I'm... I always have a... a such far range, I guess. Uh... You, mm, Shu doesn't really have anything either, but I... I mm, he does have Shield Matrix, which might be nice. Uh... So we definitely no want... Mm, I don't think I want to bring both of these guys, though, do I? But we'll bring Hijiyama. Just so I can <laughs> overload his brain. Um... Uh, who to... Who else to bring, though? Should I bring Amaguchi just so we've got a little bit of variety on the team? Do we go Ogata? Just... No, I, I think we'll only bring one Gen 1. I got this. Yeah. Okay, I, I think this is how we'll go with it. Uh, so yeah, I'll do my setup, and then we'll be be right back. All right, yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. <sighs> this one might be hard, actually. This one might be quite hard. Oh, let's go, though! Let's fight this boss wave. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. Can we get any more info out of the Sentinel computers? I haven't unlocked either of you two yet. Wait, I think I've seen this. The command ship had some data on this trilobite guy. Hold on. Looks like we're seeing a Terra carrier. It's a transport craft for carrying resources. Okay, but what's it carrying? This thing's gotta be more than just a big-ass turnip truck. <laughs> it says here it can take atmospheric movement and re-entry. The hull's surrounded by magnetic repulsion. A magnetic field? So, like, it'll deflect our shots? We don't know anything about its payload, but it seems hell-bent on delivering it. Whatever the hell it is, it ain't gonna be fun. Let's take it out before it can drop the goods. Alright, to win this battle, you must destroy all Terra carriers. Okay, so it's not just one. Victory condition, destroy all Terra carriers. Usual loss conditions. Okay. Okay. Oh, this should be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. That'll start, maybe. 
Okay. What? Hope I can pull my weight. Start with shield matrix. Or maybe not. Maybe not. May maybe yeah. Maybe not yet. I can do this. What can I do? We'll start with dropping a sentry. My my age old tactic. Drop the sentry. Uh, I think we'll drop it here. I think it's just got nicer range there. I'll make it work. Uh, I kind of want to. What are we dealing with here? So we've got some ground guys over here. The flyers are up here. More flyers up there. Flyers up there. Ground guys here. So I think we want really. Okay, actually, what's, what's sort of like the range on this? Okay, so he's got mm, he's got something like that. In that case, I think I want to start off by having him move closer to over here. Like there. Stay calm. I can do this. Gucci, let's actually keep you somewhat central. Because I want to shield. I will eventually want to shield you. Oh, oh, and Usami. Let's sort of see what range we've got here. Can we, immediate, we can immediately go for some of the small fry. I kind of want to just take out while we can. Try and take out those guys. Just so we get a, a little bit of a break early on. Uh, okay. Do we immediately go for that or do we. I'm going to go for that. Clear out some of the ground guys, we're going to clear out some of the aerial guys. I'll make it work. Right. Okay. Uh, let's put the rush attack we'll probably do here. I can deny you. I'll find it. Um. Oh, they're really coming in fast. I guess life comes at you fast. Yeah, they sure do. Okay, should we go for a leap? Just get him in. Oh, maybe not. Probably time for an EMP attractor, I suppose. Okay, that does do damage as well, which I, I just didn't really expect, I guess. Um, oh shit, there's one right there. I don't think we can really do anything about that, can we? No, not exceptionally. So let, let, let's stick with just firing forward with Amaguchi. That was good, because I've got the missiles that are coming at us too. I think we're going to honestly want to move Kisaragi a bit, because it doesn't look like the carriers are really moving much. If at all. So I definitely want to get Kisaragi moving at least a little bit. Uh, let's get... Let's get Ijiyama. Grabe. Okay, yeah. Okay, little one was destroyed. Let's pretty much just have him follow Usami. Uh, like I see those little are those missiles or like dudes. Those are dudes. Okay. Well, at the very least, it's EMP attractor. You're just small fry. That guy. Shoot. Just fire ahead again, buddy. Guys, come on, guys. Looking out here for good damage. Uh, uh yeah, fuck it. Let's just. Can we get a back attack off on this guy? Doesn't really seem like it. So let's just do it this way. For Ogata. Not Ogata, that's the other one. Hijiyama. Oh my god! Is that a sentry doing that? Oh, it sure is. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't really know 
what's going to be best here. Let's just go for that. Not as much as I'd hoped. She's... She, her brain is overloaded right now, sir. I mean... Go for it. Not quite, but... We're gonna need to have a recharge in a minute. Well, this thing's nearly done. Defend for a bit. Oh wait, was it just that one? Was it just the one? Nope. Nope, there, there are multiple. Oh, that's a lot! use the face plasma EMP. The flying kaiju will lose control and drop out of the sky. If you get surrounded, it's a good fall. He is very surrounded right now. What about the city? Um, yeah, no, we are... Oh, God! Um, yeah, that, yeah, um, fuck. What now? Okay, uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Honestly, I think I just want to drop another sentry. Let's put it... Put it over here. Okay, 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 okay. Um... God. Let's... Do that for Usami. What now? Okay. Move Shu up. Get him over there. This should kill these guys. Yeah, okay. Put him out of the way. Out of the way. Now, now we just wait for the recharge. I can do this. Go for that guy. One at a time. One at a time. Get him out of the way. Okay. This is perfect. You, sir. Ujiyama can probably kill this guy with this. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic work, Ujiyama. Hey, it went down. But where's the wreckage? There's still another in the air. Let's get him. Yeah, I noticed you saw me. Uh, let's see. She's super slow, but I've got to move her over. I've got to move her over a little bit. Let's... This isn't so hard. Let's turn this around. Let's. You guys will have that. Moving in. Okay, I guess these guys don't want what next. Okay, not sure what happened there, but alright. All I right. guess life comes at you fast. Let's move Kiji Armor a little bit closer. Number 12, moving up. Better put on a show for you, Kajan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say, shoot. Let's get you in. Let's fly you down there a bit. Hopefully he's trying to intercept some of these guys. Now, EMP attractor. You're just small fry. How's that? There we go. Got those missiles. Stay calm. I can do this. Okay. Uh what are we looking at here? Here goes. Doing this should get rid of these three. Okay, not the one who just stood there. Oh, Hiji Armor's taking some big hits. I just saw that. Uh, Sami, just shoot this guy. Fuck. Where are these guys? Oh shit. Okay, Karabe. Let's... Let's try and get rid of these dudes. It worked. Okay, come on, come on. Let's 
to try and get behind this guy. It's like half the tail, half the tail. I think we are, though Hijiyama is certainly in a bit of pain right now. Okay, move you round. Go for it, Shu. Perfect, Shu. And let's go for this. This should get rid of this guy. Well done, Hijiyama. Any more? No more! Woo! Okay, that one was a little bit more tense. Aegis activation confirmed. But I didn't even need to use Usami's EMP. Off. We did it. They've changed targets. The next terminal is just over there. They're already on the move. Can't even let us catch our breath, huh? I haven't hit my operating limit yet, but I'll be dismounting the Sentinel temporarily. Whoa, hey, then who's taking point? We don't need orders to kick some ass. Sentinel, activate! Yuki, why aren't you in your Sentinel? You can relax, kids. I'm back in the fight. I won't be long. I'll leave the rest to you. Fine then. Let's roll, Yuki-chan. So we made it through. Oh, somehow. I was, I was a little bit worried. We got through it. Good teamwork. Damn, Karabe. Oh, Patriot. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Think we'll go viral? God damn it, Usami. And Shu also gets a motorcyclist. Who else was it that got that? Was it Sekigahara? Yeah, we took a bit of sentinel damage, but nah. Easy. Easy. Look at all my mystery points. No, no, we will not be proceeding to the next wave. <laughs> uh, look through our analysis section a little bit. Oh man, so many Tamal Karabes. Uh, let's see, do we have anything? Yeah. Officially called high speed, high speed transporter. You so, yeah, blah, 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 wow. Wow. Utilizes two giant tiltr... Tiltrators? To fly at high speeds. They are five meter tall aerial scout drone kaiju. They fly in formation and attack with small excavator lasers. Kaede River's Riverbed, where you can get a good view of Kasumicho. Not many people come here because of the substantial elevation difference from the metropolitan area. Okay. Uh, the 1940s is a turbulent era of World War II, a major war which involved numerous powerful nations and marked a turning point for technology and ideology. It's also a period where Japan transitioned from militar militarism to pacifism. The mo the most popular item from the first floor cake shop at the apartment where Tomi Kisaragi used to live. Kisaragi and Megami Yakushiji would eat once would eat one at least once a week. Well isn't that nice, I, I guess. Uh okay. Well let's stick with getting some people. Uh we only have three to choose well, I guess there is also the, the, the track members, but uh let's Sure, we'll grab Karabe. Uh, she lives in 1945 with Keitaro Miura's little sister, Chihiro. Tamal Karabe has repeatedly been receiving medicine from Renya Goto, which causes her to suddenly remember strange dreams. However, she starts receiving a different type of medicine one day that has the opposite effect, causing her to forget what she sees in her dreams. Right, that, that is actually something I kind of wanted to, to look at in the uh, event archive. And we'll get Kiriko. 
Google Doji is Professor Doji's daughter. She's visiting the, va the factory on behalf of the professor. Google Doji is actually a cover identity and is actually Tsukasa Okino, temporarily presenting as a girl. The real Kuriko Doji is in Tokyo. Uh, so let's see. Where, where are we thinking? What from the future? Mark on the pillar. Okay, so it'd be around here. But... Let me see this. Where... All of Natsuno scenes really like bunched together, right? So it's around here. That, that's a pretty big gap. Uh, but I guess it's hard to say exactly. Where would it be? Okay. Yeah, it's still 1945. Same year, right? It should be. Yeah, it's still 1945. So something must change quite quickly. At least in terms of there, because in terms of this, it's a massive departure. Right, okay. So yeah, this is Kitaro's thing here. Pretty much follows on immediately from where we left him last time. Yeah, yeah. There's actually something that happens before this. I assume it's probably the Ogata scene, uh, where he gets chewed out, as uh, as Shu said. And this... Oh no, that's not it. It's this one. Another freeloader, yeah. There is a, a lot of stuff that happens between... that and this. So he, he must be staying with Shu for a pretty long time. I mean, well, relatively speaking. Uh, it is only um, probably uh, I don't know, like a few months. And in the grand scheme of this plot, that's really not much. Yeah, shit, there's so much towards the back end that we don't have. And then it's just Sekigahara's story. Which is kind of, you know, I, I'd expect that. This is a little jarring. Um, and a little terrifying in its own way. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get in with okay. Fuyusaka. Maybe that was a bad way to phrase that. Ah, oh, well. Heading home. Keaki, Kea, yeah, Keaki Cho Shopping District, 1985. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again. Wait, do I have control? I do. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. I'll just let them talk about the cat. There we go. Every day I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. Oh, so sleepy. So many great cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> just Whenever think I think about him. My heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Yeah, I don't think it's like. I, I think it is. I don't know. I don't know Sekigahara very well. I'm not going to lie, but... Did you see one on flight school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't it look the same? Uh, y uh yes? Yuri-chan's my good friend. She's gentle kind. Loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nothing wrong with that. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Well, again, I, I wouldn't really I don't know. See it. Must have taken off already. Yeah, I don't know what you're looking at, Miwako. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? <laughs> we gonna bump into Shu. He looks a bit like Amikuchi kun.
I'm sorry, what? I... Is that what he's been getting up to with the girl in his TV? So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. Boys, boys, boys. Is there boys. even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sunny Tan. Even just watching from afar. Sorry, let me just listen it's to like it. Your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. I'm, I'm sure. Uh... Oh, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Mora walks in? Uh... Just say they're not looking at her eyes. Yeah. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of understand. Look, let's talk about she. Let's <laughs> stop talking about Morimura in the way that I laugh about her in, okay? I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a oh, shame. No? He's so good at it. Yeah, he's busy hitting on girls. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Hmm. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... Oh yeah, better not. <laughs> I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Oh, easier said than done. It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Look, Asami, don't, <laughs> don't, don't crush it for her, all right? Right now, well, maybe you should. Right now, it's pure and innocent. It could turn into a massive money sink eventually. She just becomes so, so involved in it. She's buying magic stones off the internet. You know, you never know. She could end up a Yasuhiro Hagakure, you know? She could. It's possible. So maybe it is better to nip it in the bud. Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? Some people just have superstitions. There's uh, only sometimes something wrong with it. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi comes handsome. I kind of got that. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. Do it! <laughs> hey, look, I mean, okay, you're probably somewhat right. Kind of. But Shu, I mean, you know, I've seen Shu. He seems like a good guy. I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Yeah, let's do it. Good idea. Where should we go? I can't tell by the glare. What? Is Usami wearing, like... No, that, 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 those can't be on just her legs, right? Because she'd be wearing, like, no socks. I'd love to Let's go back to that one place. It's a hot day today. Okay, I'll stop Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori chan decide. Damn. Soft serve place just got a new flavor in. What an interesting <laughs> root split. Don't you want to try Yori chan? Um. Let's just go get crates. With Usami -chan. Look, Usami reminded me of Morgana, and that just reminds me of Persona 5, which reminds me of crepes, okay? That one time Anna Makoto go and get crepes, and you can see them in town when they're getting crepes. Just, yeah, yeah, just maybe think of it, okay? Good right now. Then that's that. Let's go! Besides, I feel like Usami would be way more butthurt about it than Miwako if we went with the other option, you know? Damn, this look good. Girls, you're making me hungry! You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum! Fair enough. 
Jesus, that was a fucking massive bite, Miwako. You got the entire top off. Not that you're much better, Iori. Jesus. How is it? Mm, so many strawberries. Yeah, you did eat the entire fucking thing. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. You know, what if I got the tuna and mayo? I'm sorry, what? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey, cats can't have crepes. A tuna and mayo crepe? No! That, no! That's disgusting! I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. That kind of doesn't surprise me, I guess. I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Thanks, Miwa-chan. I'd... Um... Do you think we'll put on weight? I mean, if you only eat, you did just don't exercise. A lot of sugar. Yori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? Um, considering that she didn't even address him by name, I don't think she's doing anything with Sekigahara, but, eh, you know. I don't like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? We're back to boys, boys, boys. Miwa chan you should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. Oh, well, screw luck. Love can overcome luck. I see. Probably. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri chan uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Let's see. Now oh, come now, on. Where were we? Hmm. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Even just watching from afar. Go, go. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Come on, girls. Stop. Stop with the same dialogue, please. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Morimura walks in? Yes. Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. Yeah. And I can sort of understand. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi-kun's handsome. Have I seen all of this? Have they got nothing that new for me? shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. She is fine. You're just mean, Usami. That's pretty cute, too. He has a lot of secret admirers. Even some of the third years. I mean, I, I, I know literally nothing yeah, about Goto. Yeah, I'll pass. Goto, I think, is probably Man, the character I know the, the least. There's not even one you might Okay, like. I guess I have to go do something else. Can I find a cat Man, around here? Oh, I sure can. Turn? Even just watching from afar. You fucking. Uh -oh. Did you see that, Usami chan? Magic. It was that kitty bitch. again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many Whoa. stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. What am I supposed to do? That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. Girls, please. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Sure did. did. it look the same? Yeah, it did. Oh, it's over there! I don't... Yeah, I don't see it either. What are you talking about? Must have taken girl? off already. After Let me this, talk to you again. You wanted to go to the record. Yeah, you must really... Well, he looks... Man, yeah, 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 all the guys yeah, yeah. at school suck. There's not even one Cat you back. might like. Okay. Yeah, it is. Being in love is so wonderful, <sighs> Sami chan Get the cat's attention. Just oh, from afar. Know that it's. Oh man. Damn it. Okay. Well, I know what to do then. It was that kid. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Why is this so difficult? Why is this like the most difficult thing I've done in this game so far? Keep keep man, okay. all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you like. 
Oh, Shit. Yes. Did you see that, Usami chan? It was like. God, okay. I don't know if I've got to be quick on the Mr. ball or if I'm just doing it wrong. So many straight cats around here. Yeah, he was well. He looks so. Okay, man, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I'm ready suck. for it. I'm ready for this bit. There's not even. Hey. Got it. Iwa-chan. It's definitely not supposed to be that hard. I was probably just walking too far. Over here. Oh, one moment. I'll get the treat. And they're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. Well, just by so there's more than one. poke him. If he talks, he's the one from school. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Kurabe. Oh, he, you saw that? Oh. Oh. You've been chatting with cats as here, well. Don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... Wait, hang on. You saw me. You know him. You know why he's weird. Yeah, go on. Let's recall it. Flashback. Sakura High School. Front game. <laughs> it's only 8.10 a.m. Behold, Yori Fuyusaka. Genuine morning person. I'm not late. It's not so bad if I put my mind to it. Sounds more like you just had a good, uh... Oh, Kitty! Dream? Early cat set? gets the mouse, huh? Let's look at the cat. Oh, he's sleeping. Good so morning, Kurabe. Kurabe. Son. Shh! Quiet! Huh? Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. This cat gets around, doesn't he? This fucking fluffy, magic-talking cat. I mean, well, I don't know about next episode, but very soon we'll probably be seeing the bitch as well in action. I'm gonna go back to Megumi's story. Do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. Every night. Do you know that one you talked about earlier? I can never sleep. With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Iori! Morning! Uh oh! <laughs> Megumi's watching! Osami chan! Yeah, so, bye, bitch. My bestie's here. Good morning! Well, my not bestie. She's. I think she's weird, but. What were you guys up to over there? Oh! Um, just looking at a cat. Uh, huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? It's not a euphemism, I promise. Uh, okay. Uh, Megumi didn't like that. Megumi? Oh. God oh, damn it. Every day I have strange dreams. Megumi, it's not that I deep. Keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Every day. Shit, I, I pressed the wrong button. <sighs> Now, there we go. Sure, we call the UFO. Memory of a dream, 300 meters underground, spaceship ruins. Well. Uh. Hello? Ah! Jura! Oh, thank goodness. What's up, Karabe? I was worried with you all by yourself. Izumi, right, wait, okay. How does this, if he's Juro Izumi, does that mean he's not actually a Karabe? And he was just taken in by the Karabes? How, hmm, I haven't really thought about how logistically that works. If something were to happen to you, I... Juro, stop. What if Megumi's listening? I'm flattered you feel that way. But I have Seki Gahara, I'm sorry. But I can't think about this. Not now. 
I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. Bruh, your life's complicated as fuck. But, listen. When this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. Hey, Okino. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. But by the way, Karabe, you, you, you can't be... We have to look at that timeline. You, you can't be holding hands with Megumi and then be up on... <laughs> on Fusaka's grill, book boy. You can't be too timing like that. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. Oh, that's a problem. <sighs> you don't have to say it. Everyone is fucking dead, Izumi. <laughs> so you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Well, I guess. Our work here is a good distraction. If everyone. I'll check the terminal over there. This one block of data is still being analyzed. You know, I just had the dumbest fucking thing that just popped into my head. What, what if... <laughs> I'm gonna say it, though. What if Fuyusaka isn't Morimura, but Morimura is Fuyusaka's mother? <sighs> yeah, no, that that's definitely not it, but it just popped into my head, so I thought I might as well say it. It's been it. three days, and it's only at 1.2%. Damn. That's unusually dense. You need a better computer, girl. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okino-kun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. Hey, Okino, just... Walking slowly over. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. Good description, Okino. Okay? If you ask really me for idea. my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. I mean, kind of looks Don't give like. Me that uh, look. Hear me out. It would be. I actually found some associated data. If not a time travel Come on, thingy. you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. I if guess? If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Disappearances, you say? Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Okay, so why is she going by Fuyasaka then? Is it the same as like the Izumi Karabe thing? Guys, come take a look at this. Well, <laughs> oh, it's good to know at least one of my theories, quote unquote, is correct. I mean, it seems pretty obvious, right? They look very similar, but still, I felt smart, all right. The analysis took some time, but don't take this away from me. I found this. What is that? Is that our UFO? The map. This relic is enormous. It's thirty kilometers in diameter, and the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. This isn't the space station, is it? Purely just because it said 30 kilometers. That just like, pooped right into my head. Is this the the space station that Miura Natsuno and Granny Karabe have been on during those flashback scenes? I literally only say that because of the 30 kilometers 
specification. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. Might not even be alien, to be honest. I guess I can't use that. We're only 300 meters from the surface. This facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Pro it probably just poofed into existence down there. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. When does this take place again? Hmm. Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? This has got to be towards the end, right? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. That are they just trying to like cuz if this is the you know the spaceship from uh blah, 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 the 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 flashbacks are the kaiju daimos just trying to get back home i guess is that all they're doing what does it look like to you it looks like this a countdown a countdown it started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe since then the clock's been ticking We should investigate further. Good talk, Izumi. This may not be appropriate, but I'm honestly excited. Yeah, maybe this not. sort of alien technology? I can hardly believe it. Well, it might not even be alien. So when the countdown reaches zero, what happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Gravity wave? Launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I'm definitely gonna have to go and look at that in the in the log real quick. Okay. Where I imagine this one would have taken place. No, not this far. Well, maybe. No, 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 wait. No, this would be right near the beginning, wouldn't it? Because it's uh, Izumi we're dealing with. That is a lot closer to the beginning than I thought it would be, but it's in tw 21 4. Okay. So while this is happening, they're on the surface. In hmm, okay. Well, whoever this is, it's clear it can't be. Karabe, because he's, he's he's busy down there. Although then then again, these these don't exactly take place at the same time, do they? 2065, 2104. These two are happening somewhat at the same time, though. Hmm. Hmm. Right, Iori. What, what else have we got here? Dang, really? <laughs> this is the root split? Crepe versus soft serve? I'm, okay. Iori Fuyusaka. 
Oh yeah, just saw the cat down there. Cool. Did you see that Usami-chan? It was like seeing you again. A giant UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe Nachan's getting to my head. Once well, she starts talking about UFOs, you'll never hear the end of it. You know, I can't Go believe. Over, yeah, I know, right? I can't believe I, I was kind of clowning on her for her Must aliens thing. Where there might actually be a shit ton of UFOs yeah, and that sort of stuck. shit in this There's not even one you might game. Are you? I can eat. I don't. Okay, shoot, shoot. About I should back, but what? You be up. Oh, that, 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 that. Let's see. Now, where were we? Mm. Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Girls, just please. Watching from afar. Hurry up. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. We need to go get soft serve. Maybe, but. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Let's get some soft serve. I've had crepes a lot lately. So I agree with Miwa chan. Get a little variety. Yeah, right. okay. Alright, let's go! Okay, Sami was a lot less butt hurt than I thought she'd be. <laughs> Damn, those are fucking enormous. Rich vanilla, right? It was either this or a chocolate mint. All right, I'm gonna try it. I mean, I know I said they're massive. All the food, all the items people hold in these game in this game are massive. I it's a clearly a stylistic thing, but you know, it, I, I'm still gonna point it out. Let's see. Damn, girls, you you lick fast. It's so good. Super sweet. It's only weird if you make it weird. It's only weird if you make it weird. You know what my lucky item is this week? Soft serve ice cream! Wow. That's I guess so cool. Things are looking you up both. for you then. They really are. <laughs> I can tell. So that means you've got to deliver your love letter today, Miwako. You're gonna do it. I'd love to. Um. Do you think are you don't miss Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan. Call me Wakar. Even just watching from afar. Call me Wakar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Talk about it. Miwa chan, you should do it. Send your love letter. You've got good luck this week. Do it. But it said my luck for this week is bad. But you had good luck with your soft serve. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop. It's so embarrassing. But you need to say it, Miwako. If you never say it, the feelings will pass and you might miss your shot. You gotta go for it, Miwako. Well, watching from afar is good enough. No, it's not. But Don't I keep do telling you yourself you that. Each, huh? Don't settle for less when you can have more. You talk to Amiguchi-kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? Though, uh, I, I hate to admit it, Miwako. If you're gonna go for Amaguchi, he he's probably gonna turn you down. He, uh, he's, he's got eyes for someone else at the moment. What about? Well, uh, dreams? Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. Amiguchi kun and Kurabe kun's dreams. They sounded the a thinker. lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Oh, you absolutely are. Let's go. More dreams, more dreams, more dreams, more dreams!
Sakura High School, Old Building Passageway. What's up, boys? Boy. Fuyasaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. Really? That's a very Shiba thing to say, Karabe. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but it doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <laughs> mm. Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Oh, you sure have. Um, I don't think so. Oh. Well, you just hang out back too. there. You sneaky... I mean, to be fair, she did do the, this to you one time, so... It's probably alright, but still. Amiguchi-kun. Did you yeah. have another dream? Return the favor You guessed all. it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs. Walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? Walking? Amaguchi, you fly, sir. So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh, yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabe-kun? Mine was about a UFO. So I think it's safe to say that they aren't dreams, right? They're most likely their old memories surfacing, right? It's probably safe to say. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. And I have dreams like that all the time. Okay, yeah. So something else that I, I, I didn't say, but I was thinking it. The thingy that they were talking about in the last scene, on the or in the UFO, I was going to say, I, that, that seems to me like it would be one of our time travel things, right? Maybe our first... Hmm, actually, perhaps if that's one of the first things that happened chronologically, maybe it's from that ship and that experience that Okino sort of gets some of the tech to make Sentinels. Because I, I imagine that's probably from where she learned, or he learned, sorry, how to do time travel at least, right? But in my case... Which, is that one of those cyclical things where it's like, in the future, they have time travel because they time travel to the past? To, so the people in the past found out how to time travel so it could be in the future? Is it going to be one of those things? I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me. You're interested in our dreams. Sure are. Well, sure am. That. The truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? Well, they sure are strange. Let me tell you, Amaguchi. Yeah, how about I, think... I don't? That was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. Alright. What dream are we gonna get this time? Ooh! Kade River, Samiro Bridge, 2089. The riverbank looks so empty. That's beautiful. That- oh! Mwah, that's gorgeous! There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Was that Shu on his Were Jiro on a and bike? Okino kun unable to escape? <laughs> this must be around the time I was born. Well, those just cars. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? Um. Yep, those are just high-speed cars. Whoa. It's 
to Mirai Bridge. So this is this must be after Shu's thing with Morimura, right? Where he gets sent back. Because it's to here, right? Sumire Bridge. Can I make it back? Uh. Hold on! Um, you're Chihiro Morimura, am I right? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 Okay. I was thinking this, right? Like when they were gathered. It's like when I was just talking about the, the dreams, right? It's got to be their memories. Shu Amaguchi probably isn't his name because he's probably lost his memories as well, somewhat. And it's just like, um, Juro. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ida. Fuck. What was Ida? What? Mm, Ida. Ida. I'm trying to remember. What relevance did Ida have? What relevance did Ida have? I can't remember, but I know Ida has been brought up. I was sent here by the future you. To the year 2089. The future me? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior. And tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. Sir, you've just dropped a sentinel on the bridge. You have stopped a car. You have already been caught. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? It'll take care of itself. Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. Some lovely music. I haven't really talked about the the music in this game, but it is really a lot of it's really nice. It's very like atmospheric music. And that like that track right there, that was a really nice piece, but I the title song like for the title screen. Oh, that's just that that trumps everything else that I've heard so far. What conditions? Unseal three mystery fire. Oh, well. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Fuyasaka. Uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll move on. 42%, eh? Jeez, yeah. Come far with her. I mean, where do you go from here? <laughs> Shit. Okay. So next episode, we'll do Megumi then. And then we'll get back to my guy, Sekigahara. Uh, Shit. Okay. In, I, no, I need to see this. Okay, reunion. Yeah, this happens literally right after this. A memory of a dream Yorifu Saka had as she stands atop the bridge point and Ketsuya Ida walks in on a huge walking tank. To avoid any further commotion, the two leave the area together. Um... Was it this scene? Did he said something about Ida? Maybe... Like, Karabe said it? Or the person we think is Karabe? I can't really sit here going through everything, but... Ooh, wait, hang on. So I wonder if something goes wrong... ...here, then. Well, not here, but that, that there's going to be something between Reunion and the final countdown. It's going to send um, Fuyasaka, Karabe, and Okino back in time. Oh, no, I was thinking at separate points, but that doesn't entirely make sense. Because Izumi turns up here in his Sentinel, right? Hmm. It's not... Man, I wish I could rely on comments here. I really, I really wish I could, but no, I can't. Please, if anyone's still watching at this point, please let me know what, where we heard Ida. 
lost. Please. Please, I beg of you. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not going to be able to find it there, but please, please, help me. Help me, audience. This is one of the one of the benefits of doing it this way. Please, I need you. Save me. But, anyway, that drama aside, uh, that's going to be the end of the episode. An interesting one, for sure. Yusaka's certainly given us some things to think about with her dreams there. Oh, man. Oh, she's got to be... She's got to be Morimura. There's literally no way she isn't now. But is Chihiro Morimura... Well, no, she can't be, right? Chihiro Morimura, if that is Fuyusaka, can't be... Wait. Wait. She can't... Wait, hang on. Ch Chihiro. Let's say Miura. Let's just go Chihiro Miura. I do find it a little bit suspicious that, uh, you know, she's always. Despite being Miura's little sister, she isn't called Miura or Chihiro Miura. It's just Chihiro. It's a bit weird. It's fine. Chihiro Miura. Can't be Fuyusaka, who is Chihiro Morimura. But if Chihiro Morimura and Fuyusaka Morimura, or I guess Iori Morimura for our sakes here, are they the same person? Because even in the analysis bit, it's not. Morimura and you know it, it's not Morimura and Morimura it's Miss Morimura and someone who looks like Morimura so th this is Fuyusaka old is that Fuyusaka but old I mean could be they look very similar Shit, man. I've... My brain is not... <laughs> okay. Before I make my brain explode, we're, we're signing off. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. You know, the usual coup. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, goodbye.